How's it going, all my fellow investor enthusiasts? Steve from Broke to Wealthy. Extremely grateful to have you on today's video. You may hear me a little congested. I recently came down with the Rona, but I've since recovered and I am here now bringing you the latest video. Over the last week, we did acquire three new NFTs in our crypto portfolio. One of those NFTs is part ownership in a Banksy painting. This project is extremely interesting and it's changing the way that people own artwork. This non-for-profit organization by the name of Particles purchased this Banksy Love is in the Air painting for $12 million at Salisbury auction last year. And what this group has done is they've taken this painting and they've broken it up into 10,000 NFTs or individual pieces of ownership, which will allow 10,000 people to be part owner in this multi-million dollar painting. And we went ahead and purchased one of those NFTs and it's really an interesting concept because if you think of an NFT, basically it is like having access to a, an exclusive club. And what this NFT allows you to do is it's going to give you access to not only view wherever the Banksy painting is in the world, but it's also going to allow you to have voting rights on the outcome of whatever happens to this painting, being that you do have partial ownership. For me to be able to purchase a $12 million painting is obviously not possible right now. But the fact that I can own a piece of it is pretty cool. And that's what's giving the person the chance to go from broke to wealthy. So let's take a look at the NFT. Let's take a look at the project, the blockchain that it's going to be that it is hosted on. And then I'll be showing you a virtual uh, museum where I'm currently displaying my NFTs. So let's jump straight into it. All right, guys, Steve here. I just wanted to clarify when I refer to the term we in my videos. It's not like I have a, a team of people here with me constantly looking for investments. When I say we, what I refer to are three people, myself, my wife and my son. Essentially, my wife and I are building wealth together, which we're going to then one day be able to pass down to our son. So we are all three involved in this journey of essentially going from broke to wealthy. So getting into Banksy right now. And this is the picture right here, which is Banksy Love is in the Air 2005. If you don't know much about Banksy, I definitely recommend that you look into this artist. This is an anonymous street artist who has some controver controversial uh, paintings. Uh, he did sell one of his paintings at an auction for millions of dollars, which then proceeded to pass through a shredder uh, after the sale. So um, it's very interesting uh, projects that he has. And this is one of his like well-known uh, paintings right here. And so Particles, this non-for-profit organization, purchased his painting in cryptocurrency at a Sotheby auction last year for $12 million. And instead of them just, just uh, keeping it for themselves, what their whole idea is, is to break this into 10,000 NFTs to give individual people ownership of this painting. So if we go into the article here, it basically just talks about that and it describes the, the NFT as digital ownerships of the works represented by a collector's card will represent a de minimis minority ownership in the painting and will have no claim over the physical painting. So particles, which are the individual NFTs, represent both digital ownership as well as an admission ticket to participate in the art world at a level historically reserved for a select few. This ticket provides access both to physical spaces and museums, but also to digital metaverse spaces as well as unprecedented governance over humanity's greatest cultural relics. It's your ticket into a movement of like-minded individuals seeking to own, collect, and experience art in a revolutionary new way. So this Particles is going to be acquiring additional artwork uh, over the years, and they're going to be breaking it down to NFTs. So it gives people the, the opportunity 
to to purchase uh, things of this magnitude, right? And uh, this is kind of like the Constitution DAO. I don't know if you heard about that recently, where a whole bunch of people were going to purchase a copy of the Constitution and they all uh, contributed money towards the cause. This is kind of like the same thing as giving individual people the, uh, the, the possibility of owning multi-million dollar artwork, which I think is freaking cool. So anyway, let me get into uh, where my actual NFT is. And if we go to here, it is over here. So Particle Collection has decided to host their uh, NFT. Bansky Love is in the air on the Avalanche blockchain. And we'll get to that a little bit later. I know exactly what that is. But once you get your NFT, you are going to get what is a card like this. And it's going to tell you what number you have out of 10,000 the coordinates on the painting so the coordinates on the painting they basically they take this painting and they divide it into ten thousand little sections and whatever section you end up getting that's your that's your section so i got a, a white piece of the painting which i don't see as a big deal because i'm still whether i get a piece of his shirt or a piece of just the white part of the painting it may add more value or less value to the nft but it's still you are part of you part owner of that painting. So this uh, this basically just talks about what the painting is. It talks about the history, what the painting uh, represents, um, and then if you go to documents, it's going to have the pest control certificate. It's going to have your collector's card, your bill of rights, and non-profit donation. I'm not sure what that's about, but so if we hit on pest control certificate. Let's uh, open this up real quick. And this is basically just talking about the certificate of authenticity. And uh, so you've got all that in there, which is pretty cool. So now this NFT is currently uh, being stored on the Avalanche blockchain. Avalanche is it's another layer one blockchain, which is considered an Ethereum competitor. And it's I consider Avalanche a really big up-and-coming blockchain that's that's going to be competing uh, with Ethereum. Now, I still believe in Ethereum as my number one blockchain. I love Ethereum. Ethereum has been around for longer, and the amount of developers on a, on Ethereum far exceeds the amount on Avalanche. Um, Ethereum has been out for a lot longer, therefore they they have a lot more projects. Uh, they are so far ahead of Avalanche. Um, Avalanche is gaining ground though, and uh, I like Avalanche because of uh, the low cost and the low fees. I mean, the low cost and the high speed that they have to offer. Um, if you actually look at this breakdown here, uh, this is uh, comparing other blockchains. Of course, Bitcoin being a proof of work and Ethereum and a proof of work right now, but Ethereum will be going over to proof of stake, which a lot of these are going to change soon which I'm looking forward to, but, uh, but Avalanche, yes, is definitely up and coming. And where I see this going is one day I see these blockchains all working in unity and uh, people will be using Ethereum and having the NFTs and the uh, projects hosted on, on Ethereum. Some people will be using Avalanche and they'll be interconnected and uh, be able to transfer from one blockchain to the other. So that's where I see how things are headed. So if you want to purchase a Banksy NFT or if you want to purchase other NFTs that are currently on Avalanche blockchain, you're not going to go to OpenSea because OpenSea is Ethereum NFTs, but you're going to go to a page that's called Kalao. And Kalao is kind of like the OpenSea for Avalanche. Um, if you go here, you explore your NFTs. And they, they have a, a nice uh, solid page here that um, that hosts all the NFTs. And this is when I told you we picked up three NFTs in the past week. This is where we this is where we purchased the NFTs. So if we go to my dashboard, go to my collectibles, collectibles, and um, here's our bank ski. We picked up another project called Crypto Dickheads and they have an interesting roadmap that's coming out now and it's it's kind of like an interesting project um this 
did not cost me a lot of money. It was uh, it was cheap. I think I, I think I paid like fifty dollars for it. But um, it's very interesting. They have an exclusive Crypto Dickheads Club, which is kind of like the Board Ape Yacht Club idea. Uh, you know, exclusive access to to clubs, and um, it's something that. That I think, hey, maybe it could be something down the line. I also picked up AVX Lions. This is a cool little project here where they have different, um, different, des different lion designs that uh, that you can purchase. And if you uh, you click on, say, this lion for example, and it's got the different properties on on their different characteristics, and uh, it's just uh, something to to add to my uh, to my NFT collection like this this four price is at 48 avalanche which uh, avalanche right now is at uh, about 70 70 dollars so the cheapest one of these avex lions right now is 35 dollars and the most interesting thing about these guys and the reason that I that I purchase NFTs is because I feel like not only does it give you an, a ticket to an exclusive club there are only 10,000 of these AVAX lines and on the crypto dickheads there's only 5,555 the Banksy there's only 10,000 so limited supply right and if these do catch on you know if people start jumping on these if they start getting into celebrities uh, you know the, the price is going to go up because people want to own one and there's only a limited amount of supply so that's where my head is and that's where I'm thinking and with Avalanche you know up and coming uh, blockchain getting a lot more traction now I think that um, that this could potentially be something so we'll see we'll see but that's um, so that's my current portfolio there now something cool I'm going to share with you guys now is uh, this Kaleo has a virtual metaverse uh, museums where you can go ahead and view other people's NFT collections and you can also uh, share your museum with uh, with other people so I'll go ahead and launch that now where I can show you my virtual museum and we can take a look at the NFTs that I've collected so far and uh, it's all it's all about this you know this interaction building communities getting people involved being part of this club where you can you know have access to to uh, different wealth class right all right so if we go to my galleries my galleries and this is my main so it's pretty cool and they're coming out with a new um new one now where you can use your metaverse uh, glasses to explore different museums okay and uh, let's go here and let's walk in here so this is my museum as you can see i don't have a lot of artwork yet and this is our crypto dickheads so let's check out this guy and basically if you just go more stats it'll tell you crypto dickheads an nft collection of five 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 ai generated unique dickheads they are a nostalgic flashback to our childhood the glorious 90s created with over 300 attributes um, so that just kind of tells you a little bit about your artwork and some of them you can actually click on a link that will take you to the website then this is like a little the i'm still trying to figure out how to use this to put music on here to add a playlist i haven't figured that out yet but but i'll soon have that so next time you come to my museum you'll be able to hear music and then here is my AVAX Lion. Let's see what, what information we have on this guy. All right. What does he say? AVAX Lions, 10,000 pieces hand drawn unique lines. Four lines by lions. And this one has an external link that will take you to the, uh, the website. Okay. Something interesting about that crypto dickheads I saw on their roadmap is that they're actually hosting um, an exclusive party for NFT holders of crypto dickheads in Istanbul, Turkey later this year. So I thought that was pretty interesting. All right, so let's go to the latest and greatest. Boom.
There's a Bob Bansky right there, looking all pretty. So let's go ahead and interact with you. Get more stats. And it just shows a little bit about that. The cool thing too, it's got this little uh, barcode here. If you scan that, it'll, it'll give you like a nice little display or someone else can see it. So what's nice too is you have this NFT, you have it on your phone. So wherever this Bansky painting is being displayed in the world or whatever museum, that NFT will get you access to that museum to get you um, free uh, viewing of your painting, seeing that you are partial owner. Okay, and that's that, guys. That is my virtual museum. Uh, pretty cool. Um, it's a whole lot of new technology coming on here, and we shall see where this all goes. But like I said, we like to be a part of the pie. We like to have our hands in a little bit of everything and uh, just exploring, just learning. That's what this channel is about, sharing with you guys the different ways of to acquire things and build wealth. So guys, that's today's video. Thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got value out of it. If you have any more questions and um, if you want to know like how to purchase these NFTs, I can go ahead and explain that on, on how to set it up. But uh, check out Kaleo and um, thank you and cheers. Thank you guys for watching today's video. As always, I do appreciate your support, your likes, your comments. Thank you so much. Please be sure to click on the links below to get yourself some free stocks and some free crypto. Thank you again. Keep investing and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.